two are bad friends. Who are these two idiots? A white dude and an Asian dude. You two are disgusting. Well, you two are something. We're bad friends. Hello, Jeremiah. Hi, Frank. Hello, Tonga. Tonga the kid. Hello, Beatrice. Beatrice Bamblunga. What were you doing in the car? Why were you late? Because I was reading tweets. So you know, people think that Not I'm stupid. Not true. People think I'm what stupid. What was he doing in the car, Rudy? He was popping his pimple. I was reading tweets. And you still have the the pimple thing on your nose. Let I was me see. Reading tweets and I know. You know, I haven't seen you in a while, and this is not a really good way to start. You know, it's it, you know, it's hello, how are you? How was Hawaii? Did you say hello, how are you to me? Let's not fight it. Let's, listen, that last episode where we're fighting, it's really volatile. It's good. Oh, it's what? Volatile. It was one of the best episodes we ever made. It doesn't matter. It's volatile. and I, and I, and Let's start out the right way. Ready? Yeah. Hey, Bob. Hey. See, it's not organic. It doesn't work. <laughs> no, because I'm, I'm absorbing it. <laughs> you, you, you know what the problem with America is? Oh, God. How we're, why we're divided? We don't absorb hellos. What are you talking about? We we need to start absorbing hello. So okay. when somebody says hello, right, yeah. our, our immediate response is hello back, right? Because right. it's conditioned to do that. We're conditioned to do that. Well, someone goes right? hello. So when you say hello, I absorb it. Hey, Bob. Hello. Now, what you're not hearing is this. <laughs> <laughs> you're not hearing that. But it's happening. Say hello to me. Well, f uh, f let's, well let's do it again. Okay. You say it first. Okay. Let it absorb. All right. Go ahead. Hello, Bob. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Andrew. How was Hawaii, baby boy? Oh, it was great. You know, it's fun. Hawaii is a fun little island. Um, I spent just, but well, first of all, my hotel room, I, I'm, it was almost as if, like, you know, a rock band stayed there. Because you destroyed it? Yeah. What did you do? It's just it, the maids. I have to give them an extra fifty every day. Not because I don't have it cleaned every day. I like I let four days pass. So wait, you leave fifty dollars for every few days? Yeah, and then still they they're very hesitant of cleaning it. Yo, that's crazy. It's insane. I have $50? like fucking sunflower seeds on the wall because you're flicking in bed from bed. No, from my little my little war zone chair. Ugh. Right, everything's sticky. They have to throw out that chair. Rebel. You know that. What? They have to throw out all that furniture. They do, right? That, that's so sad. It's just like blood, calm, <laughs> e everything. Blood, calm, everything. <coughs> and they, 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 they bring a hazmat to come in. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm pretty nasty, dude. I, and, Bobby and, Lee was in this room. Yeah, and I do it fast. I can make things messy real fast. How many did you order? Do you order extra towels every, and pillows every day? Oh, it, uh, it's also food. I didn't go to a restaurant. Not this once? Is, no. But isn't Hawaii Postmates, pretty safe, Postmates. right? Isn't Hawaii safe right now? Because they quarantine. Safe. They quarantine. Way them. too safe. Did you go to the beach? Bro, when I got there, when I got there, dude, they almost didn't let me in the island. What do you mean? I was on the island. I was on the island. I was at the airport. But they wouldn't let me, like, come on. Because you're Korean? No. That's silly talk. Well, no. Hawaii. I don't know. Do they like you guys? They I have no love idea. Korea. Well, there's there's a lot of most, silly talk. Is it mostly Japanese people, isn't it? No, it's not just Japanese. Who it's else the is there? Too. Oh, the whites are there. Yeah. Okay. No, what? Because I didn't fill out the um, you had to fill out all this paperwork. Right. And I never did it. Did you have to do that when you came back to L.A.? I heard there's a paper at LAX that people have to fill no, out. No, I didn't. No. 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 Oh. They let me through. They recognized me. <laughs> yeah, let's be honest. From what? Bobby Lee. From what? Um, what do you think people recognize you from? I've, I did a um, national El Pollo Loco commercial. <laughs> I did. I know. I a national El Pollo Loco commercial. I've um, done. I was in that um, show that Nick Rutherford did on. Um, what's that called? Love. No, Nick Rutherford has a show on. Uh, what's that Cartoon Network? On Adult Swim. Adult Swim. Dream Corps. Yeah. Was it cool? Dream Corp? I one line on that. What was the line? Tricky Ricky is here. Perfect. Yeah. I'd give you the gig again. And I didn't even, I memorized that eight months ago. I still have it. In my Did head. anybody recognize you from Bad Friends in Hawaii? Did anybody say I love Bad Friends? They do. Yeah. And it's funny because it's obviously, you know, I'm walking around Hawaii with a mask on, right? Right. So 
obviously, you know, when Asians don't have masks on, people, it's hard to tell. Well, people get scared when they don't when they see. <laughs> <laughs> I'm more comfortable when Asians have masks. <laughs> right. But with the mask on, we're like, you know, we, it's very, we're hard to recognize. Sure. But for some reason, my voice people recognize. Well, yeah, Bob. They, it's a deep, fucked up voice, right? It's deep for a Korean guy, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. You so sound, I, it sounds go, guttural. Yeah, yeah. I go, excuse me. Bad friends. Nice. This is the only word I use. A little Korean excuse guy. Me. We were shooting downtown. A little Korean guy sprinted up to me. No. One of the background guys. Why does he have to be little? He was very small. Cause I was, could, it a bo- was it a boy? Well, I couldn't hear him at first. I had to grab my I picked him up off the ground. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I had to get him up at eye line. What do you go, boss, boss? <laughs> <laughs> hey, are you, are you Andrew, boss? The plane, the plane. <laughs> no, and he said, uh, he ran up to me and he says, bad friends, bad friends. My my favorite show. Say, really? hi, say hi to Bob, please. And I said, of course, of course. Yeah, yeah. He was like so wide-eyed and happy. So he says hi. I don't What's know. What's his, his name? name? Something Kim, I guess. I don't like it. Uh, Memorize the name. Wong Park? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know. Do you get recognized often? Well, I don't go anywhere anymore. I know, so but I, I mean, even before, though. No. 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 Like, what? Well, how many times a day? One, maybe. And how does it make you feel? It was, I don't know. It depends on the scenario. If I'm, ju- if I'm like, at a restaurant just wanting to eat and pass the time and talking to somebody, I, I, you know, it is what it is. I'd rather just keep going. But do you remember the first time you got recognized? Uh, maybe. Yeah. Ma- yes. Yes. No. I do think I do. Of course you do. Yeah. The first thing. Yeah. Of course. And then what happened? It felt incredible. It does at first, right? Yeah. It changes you. Yeah. It does change you. Why? Like, why? Why? I know. This is very uncomfortable to talk about. Well, it's just weird. It's weird to talk about, but I, I'd like to talk about it. Well, hold on. So what happened? Well, I got re- I got recognized. The first thing I did was punked, and I got recognized for. You got recognized for punked? Well, because we did promo for Jimmy Kimmel. And I went on Jimmy Kimmel and I climbed on his desk in a speedo and um, and uh, uh, Guillermo tased me. Mm. I'm in a speedo and Guillermo tased me, and Justin Bieber was on, so it was just a big viewed episode or a big viewed, you know, G- yeah, Jimmy Kimmel episode. And like three or four days later, I was walking on Third or Mel or Third or Beverly, one of those where all the restaurants are, mm-hmm. and a kid goes, "I saw you, <laughs> I saw you naked on Kimmel." Yeah, and I was like, well, "I was in a speedo," and he was like, "Yeah, it was." Gross! That was funny, and I was like, "Oh, thanks." And then it made me sad about that I was gross because my body was gross on Kimmel. And then I thought, "Well, I gotta get in shape." And I, that literally was like part of the impetus. Oh, of me. oh really? One hundred percent. Oh, wow! Because I saw the photos, and it was like my little penis is in the little speedo, my yeah. little tiny penis. It is and, a little penis. Yes, little, yeah. And my doughy midsection was spilling over the speedo, and I was like, "Oh shit!" That's how people. Before people see you, before you see yourself on TV, you don't know how bad a shape you might be in. And then once you see what you look like on TV, then you I have go eyes in a mirror. Yeah, but you don't really know until you see it amongst other people on TV. Yeah, I know how fucked up my body is. Well, you've always had a bad body though. Whoa. You never were in <laughs> shape. You've always had a bad body. I know. But it's been good for me. Yeah, no, it works. <laughs> no, it, it it feels normal to me though. It sure. Yeah, yeah. I don't feel like, oh, I'm jiggly. I can I can hardly walk. You well, do you jiggle at all when you walk? I wobble. Yeah, you wobble. Well, yeah, I don't jiggle. That's why we call it weeble wobble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I do wobble the fuck out of things. You're kind of like a, one of those punching bags, you know, yeah. they, they, they wobble back and forth. Do you ever get recognized, Rudy? No. Never? No. It's going to happen, it's gonna though. happen. Just wait. Uh, the first time I had, so I did the um, Tonight Show in 70. 2000. Oh, oh, earlier. Okay. I thought it was one of the original <laughs> with Carson. I mean, you're 50. You could have done, you literally could have done. No, I couldn't have. How, how not? Carson I, did it until the 70s. Late yeah, se- yeah. In the 80s. No, he went to the 80s. You just couldn't have. Yeah, you could have. Stand up? I couldn't have. <laughs> I just couldn't have. That's yeah, crazy. Because you were busy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you were losing it. Yeah. Any- 2000. <laughs> you just rattled bait. Just Shut up. 2001. No, don't do that either. Shut up. Let, let, me, let me absorb it. Okay, ready? Absorb it. Yeah. When did okay. you do The Tonight Show, Bob? Sometime in 2000. And... um. Not in the seventies. It was Leno, not Carson. Yeah, and um, so I did it, and then two weeks later, that never got recognized. But two weeks later, I was at the Panic and Coffee Shop in La Jolla because mm-hmm. I was doing La Jolla at the Comedy Store, and the Panic is a place I used to work. Panic Yeah, it's a coffee shop in La Jolla. I used to do the morning shifts. You have to wake up five in the morning. It's where I ground up the cockroaches. 
Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I remember, so now I'm back at the Pan again, you know, yeah. after doing The Tonight Show. And no one's recognized. It's fine. I wasn't thinking about it. Right. And a young lady and her mother was at a table. And I'm just drinking my coffee. And I have my legs crossed like this. You're right. And I think you could smoke at that time. So I was smoking. And she goes, excuse me. I go, yes. And she goes, did you do The Tonight Show a couple weeks ago as a stand-up? I go, yes, I did. <laughs> she goes, it was pretty good. That's good. Pretty no, good is good. No. It fucked me up for like six months. Why? Pretty, pretty good. Pretty good is a terrible. No, it's pretty, pretty good. good. What did you want her to say? It was really good. But it wasn't. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. So that's what I was thinking about. Like what I could have done better. But to me, it, when you do a set, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. When somebody says it was pretty good, you don't feel good. Well, when someone says it's the set is pretty good when you after you've just done a live show, you, that means it's really bad. When somebody goes pretty good. Oh, so it, 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 so time it's like wine, time to, I see. Yeah. It's it settled a little bit. Also television is way different than live. So when somebody goes that TV set was pretty good, it's probably pretty good. When somebody says sees you live and go, "Yeah, it, I, I, I if I don't like the band Creed." Why? I just don't. Right, but, arms wide yeah, yeah. Open. but if I saw the lead singer walking down, I'd be like, "I love you guys." Why? Just because I want him to feel good. I would ignore him. No, I would just keep moving. I go, "I love that uh, all your albums. I hate them." <laughs> but I would say it to make him feel good. If I've seen comics, right? What, what if you just don't say anything I've at seen all? Comics not do well at all. Right, name them. Right. No, no, I want to name. Stop them. it. Start, all right, but one of them. Name one. Or I've I've seen like um. I don't want to hurt his feelings. But do I'm it. Gonna, no, I'm not. I'm not gonna do it. Um, I'm gonna give me I'm the gonna, initials. Let me, of, let me know. Let me think of a good one that, that's that wouldn't be hurt. Or I've seen Whitney have an okay set. Right, like not so good. Yeah, so one time she had an okay set. Not a so and good. Afterwards, I said, "Oh, that was amazing." Why did you do Just that? Just to make her feel better. Chris Rock. Chris Rock watched me go up in the OR. Yeah. Uh. Do you have your have you ever been there when Rock is there late? Like sometimes Rock will yeah. he stays at the hotel next door and he'll just walk in late and he'll just watch late sets. I saw his car get towed once from the club. Yeah, he parked <laughs> right in front of the club, and while he was on stage, they towed. They towed him. Oh my god! And then when he got off, I, I'm the one that had to tell him. Oh no! Yeah, and he did not look good. Was this recently or when you were working? Way there? back in the day when you were working there. Yeah. Oh, this is way back. This is p- before bring your pain. Bring the pain. Bring the pain. Whatever. Bring your pain. Whatever. That's actually a good title. Bring your pain to my show. Bring your pain. Anyway, what you Rock was in the rock? bucket seats and he showed up late and I had I had pushed my set because I had done the improv changed their time and the factory changed their time and then I told Adam I'm going to be late. So I was late, so then my spot, you know, your spot slides down and I slid down and I said I'll still do it and it was a late spot. There was barely anybody in the room. I'm like, I guess I'll just try some new shit. I get up there, you know those <laughs> the, you know those nights when you're like yeah. whatever, there's nobody here. It's like uh-huh. a Tuesday. So I get up there, I'm trying a bunch of new shit. It's going like mediocre, but it's fine. Like it's it's just in my head, I'm like, this is fine. This is exactly what I wanted. It's all it's a bunch of new stuff. I get off stage, rock is I go to sit down to look at my phone mm. to, to turn off my recorder. Rock is sitting next to me. And I was like, fuck. Yeah. Fuck. Mm-hmm. And I turn and he goes, Hey. And I was like, hey, what's up? <laughs> yeah. Um. And I just sat there on my phone. And then before he gets up, he kind of is like, you know, like looking to get up and leave without it being like weird because we I just sat right next to him and he kind of goes turns to me and he just goes a good set man and then he walks away <laughs> and I was like no he knows he, 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 knows. Knows. he knows he knows how he bad knows it was how about, yeah and when you say good set man and, and walk away oh it was it's not good it was that, so now he'll remember that who that kid yeah yeah nah did I tell you what happened to me hit me with him at Caroline's uh uh-uh. uh oh my god this is the reason why I don't play Caroline's I'll They've asked. I'll just say no because of this one experience. Did you used to play it all the time? All the time. I've only played it once. So um, this is before Tiger Belly or Bad Friends or anything. I like. I just didn't have an audience. Yeah, you did. I had Mad TV audiences, but they were dwindling. Sure. Right. So I would like sell okay tickets one show. Right. And then there'd be some shows it would be completely not good. Right. Like 20, 30 people. Right. This one particular night, it was a Saturday night, second show, and just no tickets were sold. Zero. I mean, I had maybe 
12 people in the audience. Saturday night in, down in New York is so hard. It's so hard. And then also, my Time I remember split. this day at night because my friend Bess Hanley mm -hmm. came from Long Island because she had moved to Long Island. Yep. From San, you know, I mean, I knew her from San Diego. And she, um, she brought her husband and she had this, you know, she had, because I, I could see her. She was like up to the left. Right. And this is her face through my whole set. <laughs> She's trying to read something from far away. Yeah, just like Q confused P and like also like very concerned. Yeah. Like he might need to get a job. Were you bombing? It was not good. It was just you, yeah. And it got to the, because I, you know, um, you know, I do this thing at the end of my set. Where you show your penis. Where I get completely naked yeah. and, I, and I run around. It's right? the closer. It's my closer. It's very humiliating. They call it the career closer. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is so humiliating. So, I, I, 15 minutes of my set, I just decided to do it in the middle. I just said, I got to do it now. In the middle of the show? Yeah. I'm so I'm bombing so bad, <laughs> right? I don't know what the fuck to do. You're like, I just, I'll and just... And also, I knew it was okay because at the time, Paul Mooney did a third show. What, I don't understand. That... So, so um, on Saturday nights, Paul Mooney had a, like a, a kind of a, he was a um, he did like seven ten midnight or something. Yeah, he yeah he was like the midnight show, but he came early, and they're like, you can go short because Paul's here, and there's oh, a big right. crowd outside to see Paul. Of course, of course, yeah. And also, yeah, people have to realize that when Paul Mooney performs, you know, everyone shows up, no matter what city you're in. Like if you're in L.A., Paul Mooney performed Eddie Murphy, and everyone would show up. hundred percent, right? So um, I knew Paul Moody, so I go, I just do it now and get out. And just say, oh, Paul's performing or whatever, right? <laughs> and I'm on stage. I'm sweating, right? It's cold as fuck. I'm sweating. Yeah. And 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 I'm naked, and no one's laughing, right? <laughs> People are kind of getting up, right? My, my friend Bess's face is even getting worse down here like this, like anger almost. <laughs> and I remember just picking up my clothes. Good night! No cheer, right? What? Walking off. And then I just remember sweat. And tears welling up, right? Oh, it was just Bob. terrible. And you sat in that tiny little green room they have? Yeah, so there's a scream up to the left, right? Yeah. <laughs> so I see a guy leaning against the wall in the corner. Oh. I don't know who it is. Oh, yeah. I don't know who it is. I have my clothes. <laughs> and I'm walking, I'm walking, I'm walking. Completely naked, by the way, right? And I realize as I get closer, I go, if that's Chris Rock, I swear to fucking God, oh, no. I'm going to quit. So I see it's a Chris. Oh. So I go, I don't know what else to say. So I go, hey. I go, I go, hey. What up, man? <laughs> <laughs> right? I'm shaking, right? <laughs> hey. What up, man? What up, man? And I this and what he said to me, right, has been ingrained into my psyche, right? <laughs> it's what I wake up to, it's yeah. what I sleep with. Yeah. Right. What are you doing, man? <laughs> You should get that tattooed on you. What are you, what are you doing, doing, man? And I, here's my response. I don't know. <laughs> and I remember being in that green room dressing, right? And I remember thinking to myself, I'm going to stay for Paul Moon. No, no. No. No, no. I got my clothes Leave. On, and I just wandered into the city. Gone. Yeah. Gone. Those yeah. nights you deserve to disappear. I have, I, I have, there's 10 shows in my life. That almost ruined you? That, that there was, oh, I had a fucking show at Cobb's. Al Magical saw it, where I went to the kitchen and I literally got on my hands and knees and I and I, I looked up in the sky and just cried. It was that terrible. <laughs> Natasha Legere was there. And I just went going, Aah! I mean, I, there's there's 10 of them in my life that stays with me, shows. Forever. That were so bad. Yeah. And, and, and there are always like situations where... Um, it could have ruined me. Like that show with it at Cobb's yeah. was Zuckerberg. It was for Facebook. What? Yeah. So Facebook was rented out Cobb's and they get us the best comics. It was me, Ian Edwards, Natasha Legero, Al Magical. I thought they said the best comics. Back in the. All right, come on. <laughs> but at the time. Yeah. Right? No, no, no. Great. Yeah. The, it was a good. Like, All good, very good comics. Yeah. And so, um, and I had to close. Right, but by that time they were drunk. Yeah, and I just remember like it, it, people are dancing. They, there's music playing for some reason. I'm on stage, and people are just like the party has started. <laughs> people are just Zuckerberg. Everyone's just 
<laughs> dancing, right? And I'm, I'm going to tell my jokes, right? People are just dancing, not even paying attention, right? And I remember just putting the mic back in, going, getting on my knees and just cr- screaming, crying. Crying in the kitchen. Oh, my God. It was terrible. I, I bet never you played there again. Madrigal loved it. You never played Cobbs again after that? No, that's the reason. So, people, so I played the punchline, yeah. right, which is like 150 seats. Well, they're owned by the same person. Yeah, I don't know. So Cobbs is like, you know, I could make Four, so much more money. 425 right? and, and, and every year they go, Bobby, you're different now. You can sell it out. You can make so much money. And I go, I won't enter that. Because but, I was, that was like, Cobbs is where Dr. Ken Jung physically assaulted me. When he when when you guys uh... so the, yeah so the Cobbs has uh, there's always like these these events in my life yeah that I that are ingrained in my memory that I like I just can't so whenever I walk in I get like this PTSD kind of like oh this that's where I had the broke t- this is where Ken attacked me Raycon so um you know I love music yeah you're a big music guy and I love earbuds that's right my favorite earbuds. Are Raycons. Raycons are the best. Wireless Raycons, man. Yeah, they're great for me because I like to run. Uh, Everyone knows I've talked about it. I run at night, and my favorite thing to do is pop in some wireless earbuds. Raycon are great for a multitude of reasons. They fit so snug in my ear. The case is sleek and cool. It doesn't. It's not bulky in your pocket. It's noise isolating for your ear. ear. Yeah, it's noise isolating, like you said. The audio quality is incredible. I'm telling you, the number one thing that Bob and I, no joke, have talked about is for the price. People overpay for these wireless earbuds constantly, and you're getting ripped off for no reason. Uh, these things are worth the money. They sound so great, and they're probably half the price of what you're paying right now. Uh, Raycon is sponsored by a lot of big musical artists, Snoop Dio Double Jizzle, which is uh, Bobby's favorite artist of all time. Mm. And now Raycon's being generous for the holidays, so on top of their everyday prices that are already great, they're offering our listeners 15% off. Go to buyraycon.com slash... Bad friends! Today to get 15% off your Raycon order. That's buyraycon.com slash bad friends. Buyraycon.com slash bad friends. Use this it. holiday season. <laughs> Make your home and be filled with joy. And may your butthole be as clean as fresh driven snow, thanks to Hello Tushy. My butthole does look like fresh driven snow when it's clean because I'm white. Yours is a little bit dirtier, but I got to tell you, Hello Tushy can get out anything from anybody's tush. Don't get t- stuck with a post Turkey Day disaster. Uh, protect you know, your it, pipes. You, you, well, here's what I love about it. Um, you know, I've always used toilet paper all my whole life, Boo. and all I use now is Hello Tushy. It really cleans my asshole really well, and also on top of it, I don't get, to, I don't use toilet paper, and also, um, it's cheap, right? It's not, it, it's easy, it's affordable. It's extra affordable is the word, right? Yes, yeah, so seventy nine dollars, and it's easy to install. Yeah, it, yeah, stop, stop with the toilet paper. It's so stupid. Yeah, use Hello Tushy. It's comfortable. If you're worried about uh, how people are going to think about you, here's how they're going to think. They're going to think, boy, that guy's butthole is really clean. I use it every single day. We have one at the office. I have one at my house. He has one at his house as well. I thought it was going to be tough to install. George did it, and you guys know George is not a smart person, dumb. so it's easy to do. Dumb, stop dumb, wiping dumb. your butt. Start washing with millions of people that are using Hello Tushy, and they're happy. Get 10% off plus free shipping right now at hellotushy.com slash bad friends. Bad friends. Oh, yeah. Tushy. Dot com slash bad friends for ten percent off and free shipping. Hello Tushy dot com slash bad, bad friends. friends. You know what a- I mean? Apparently there was a rumor that you know that's like a hotel up above and it was like a halfway house. Mm. Somebody there was a rumor that one time a guy died and you know when you die you like begin to leak your body like leaks after a few days. Wait 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 wait. And he leaked through the flo- the ceiling. That's gross. Like the zit. That's gross. <laughs> no seriously, he's, he leaked. His like his you leaked. He leaked through the floor. Wait, so your body liquefies, absorbs into the wood? When you die, after a I'll, few days, you start to disintegrate, and the liquid inside of you leak, po- lo- leaks out of your body. Oh. <laughs> oh. And he leaked through the ceiling, and they had to replace the ceiling. And I'm not kidding. The only reason I think I remember this is because when I was there in last year, they had a leak from the hotel again because someone had flooded their apartment or whatever, and it was leaking into the club. There was a water... Dude, I'm on stage... I'm on stage and I hear this, kablunk, kablunk, kablunk. I'm like, what the fuck? I look, there's a bucket and the audience is laughing because they've already addressed it. Nobody told me, I had no idea. I look up, there's a leak coming out of the fucking ceiling. Kablunk, kablunk. Wow. And all I could think of was, is this a dead guy? <laughs> yeah. Is this a dead guy's apartment? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They said that some guy had leaked through, he had done drugs. So your body, I did not know that about the human body. You know that, Rudy? Um, kinda. What do you know what about kinda? When, what do you mean kinda? When the body you, you dies. Do, you don't. What have you heard when the body dies? I know that the body, um, what's the word that you use? This sin. 
while it disintegrates, yeah. it, do, it does kind of slowly decomposes. It yeah. decomposes. Yeah. 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 But yeah, I know that the the liquids go out because they, they come out. Yeah. You know, like most dead bodies just poop. poop. Yeah, I, 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 whenever I watch like forensic shows and stuff like that, I just that you know, and a lot of people get to want to do that as a business. Why? Why would you want to do I, that? There's a guy on there's a guy on um, Twitter. There's yeah. an account on Twitter or or TikTok or something. Yeah. And they show you when they go into crime scenes after they're done, or or when people die in their apartment. It's insane. They wear hazmat suits. They have to like clean and disinfect everything. There's so much when someone dies. There's so much shit everywhere. Yeah, blood, poop. It's it's insane how much blood and poop. Yeah, because if I was a forensics guy, I watched so many movies that I would do things that they do in movies, and then it's probably not something that you would do in real life. Like, so what? they'd be like, "What are you doing?" Right? Like, you know, if I was at a crime scene and I would like kick the refrigerator and like pull it forward, <laughs> and they're like, "What are you doing?" I go, "There could be a sign back here." Looking for evidence. Yeah, yeah, sloth. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Or whatever. You know what I mean? Like he had a heart attack right here. Yeah. Who knows? Who knows? I'm like ripping out the seven. ceiling. You see seven? Yeah, yeah seven. Yeah. yeah. I would do things based on like like the movies, you know? Right, right. You come in eating a sandwich. Bobby, yeah. this is a crime scene. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or like I would put the stuff on that, you know, like in um, um, Silence of the Lambs. Oh, yeah. Where they put the stuff underneath <laughs> the nose. I've always wanted to know what that smelled like. Oh, I'm obviously not good. No, the stuff that you do to... to, to yeah, it's got to be super strong to mask yeah, but everything. It must smell delicious, though. Maybe it's like because a, it's shit, right? It smells like shit. It's probably vapor rub. It's like Vicks. It's probably like menthol. It's strong menthol. You think so? Got to be. What else can block the smell? Like? What else I is that strong? Think it's like some sort of like you know like a dragon fruit. Ooh, yeah, like a dragon fruity kind of lychee, like a little you know mandarin I mean? lychee, peach, something like really kind of um, light, you know what I mean, and sweet. <laughs> do you think? Yeah, or something that maybe mixes well with dead things. So it's a it, with a combination of poop and that makes a good smell. Yeah, right. It's a yeah, chemical yeah, reaction. Yeah. I always wanted to know what that smelled like. It's like hot hands. You know what it, hot it, hands it can't are? Just, yeah, it can't just be something you buy at fucking you know. 7-11. No, no, no. That's special order type <laughs> yeah, of shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's some. You got to know someone that has like those. Um, the hookups for like industrial strength things to be able to even get the chemical compounds to do that, to be able to to be able to have the the reaction to do it. You can't buy it at Walgreens, you know. You got to have a hookup. I, I don't want to go dark, but I'm gonna. Um, Let's do it. It just I don't know why, but that reminds me of that. So do you, I, I I don't know what the kid's name is, but there was a kid who was maybe 11 years old, 12 years old. Okay, right, and he um. He wakes up one day and he he his mom he has a mom right he lives in an apartment and he has a sister as well. Is it a real story? It's a real story. Okay. He wakes up one day, this twelve year old kid, and he goes, um, he gets in a little argument with his mom, like you know, I want to go out and play, and she's like, no, you can't or whatever. Mm -hmm. So he decides to go take his like PlayStation controller wire, and he strangles his mom. What? Yeah, she dies, and then um, he cuts her brain. Like he cuts her skull. Skull, yeah, yeah. And by, the, the, by, <laughs> by the way, this is why they have wireless controllers now. You know that. <laughs> With this one moment, yeah, yeah. And then um, he decides to stick his finger. Stop it. No, I'm not kidding you. No. Yeah. In her head? In her head. He wanted to know what it felt like. <laughs> right? So he took his finger and he went... <laughs> and, and, and mixed it. He wanted to mix the brain, he said. Maybe give her a different thought. Right. Then, what this little kid, why he's wild, this kid. What he does is. I already know. What? He puts his penis in there. Not the brain, the oh. pussy. He has sex with his dead mom? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Not the brain. That's crazy. That oh. would be sick. It'd be funny. <laughs> yeah. Uh, right? <laughs> It'd be funny. Yeah. He had sex with his dead mom with a hole in her head? Yeah. And then, this is, he waits for his sister. Because he's going to do the same thing. Yeah, but you know what's so funny? <laughs> well, I don't know if this is funny. <laughs> 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 you know what's so funny? Uh, All right. So th this is what he does to turn himself in. He goes next door to the. There's this old white pair people. Yeah. Pa right. This mm -hmm. old white people. This mm -hmm. couple mm -hmm. living in the house. He rings a doorbell, and he stands there. Right. Hello, he's got William. brain. He's got Hi. brain on his face, on his fingers. You know what I mean? He's like you know, he's got his mom's you know vaginal juice in his face, <laughs> sweating. You know what I mean? Yeah. And he's like, hell. He goes. Good evening. And they go, it's, young man, what's the matter? I fucked my mom to brain, no brain. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he fucking. He just told him. Told him. Yeah, he's like, oh, I yeah, killed, brain, killed my parents, fuck, squished my brain. Fuck. Just because, just because she said no to something. What's his name? 
Kevin Davis. Are you sure? How I is mean, he able to choke his mom? Kevin when Davis. He's I look it up. Sorry. Oh, did you hear I, what? That doesn't see. He, time out. I felt like this. Did guy you was hear Mexican. what Rudy just said? What? Say it. How was he able to choke his mom when he was just eleven? Stro- those cords are, st- are are hard to break. I mean, choke. Yeah, yeah, that is Kevin Davis. So he choked his mom. She's got a good point, though. He was really strong at eleven years old. He looks like an engineer. Ew, that's the kid. Yeah. Jesus Christ, what an ugly looking kid. I know. That's the mom. Oh, poor mom. I, well, and how? And he was eleven years old. He's like, how old was he? Well, you're Probably on it. Fourteen, you're, maybe. Looking right maybe now. I exaggerated. Rudy, good call. How can you? An eleven year old choking out a mom is pretty strong. Well, maybe he was a strong kid, and she he was fifteen. Seven. Oh, seven. No, I'm sorry. Huge gap. <laughs> Massive difference. I know, but you know when I tell stories, it has to be that. I understand. Yeah, yeah. So this kid is five, and he's beating the shit out of his father. <laughs> seventeen. Yeah. 17. How gross. Yeah. How gross. Still young. He's so young. Yeah. I got a new show. What's it called? How to with John Williams on HBO. Maybe one of the funniest shows I've ever seen in my entire life. It's called How To. How To with John Williams, I believe is the name. John Williams. Nathan Fielder executive produced it. You know Nathan Fielder from Nathan For You, yeah. right? Um, this kid, th- this guy, this man makes me laugh so fucking hard. How To okay. with John Williams. You must watch. John Wilson. Sorry, John Wilson. Mm-hmm. This this guy made me laugh so hard. He's basically like a, he's like a filmmaker, and he goes around New York, and he like kind of jumps scenario to scenario to scenario, and you follow him along this like brilliant line of like just free form comedy thinking. It's a documentary. It's a do- it's a comedy docu series. Yeah, and mm-hmm. he's behind the camera. You don't really ever you don't ever get to see him. You just hear him narrate the whole thing. Mm. Fascinating, Bob. Fascinating. It's so funny. I'll watch it. It's just, it's just such a, like a weird. I can wa- I like watching comedies that don't have comedians in it. Yeah, he's he's definitely just like kind of Nathan Fielder was like a yeah. s- super straight man. Yeah, he's yeah. A, he's a comic, but he's a straight man. Why? Well, I, I should be, be better at that. You know, being a straight man. No, to, to be able to support friends and things. You do. You do. You you do. You support Davy. You tell you talk about my show Davy all the time. I don't watch it though. Of course not. I know, but it's like I want to be able to like go, you know, watch something that my friends are in. I think if you fall upon it naturally, it's probably better. Yeah, but do you watch things that your friends are in? Um, uh, no, no, no. no but why? Oh, that's not true. I mean, I saw love, and you were in love. Yeah, but you didn't know I was, and I had three lines. That's Doesn't right. Matter. That's yeah. correct. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what else? Um, yeah, I'm trying to think of their shows that my friends are on that I watched, but like, no, there's shows that I wish I was friends with the people on the shows, like what we do in the shadows. I wish I was friends with them. All oh, right. Because I think they're all. I know one guy in. They're brilliant. They're brilliant. Who the TV show? Yeah. Who Matt? Yeah. He's so so funny. Beyond talented. But um. Like most of the things I watch, I don't have anybody that I know in it. But also, like, uh, what are our friends in that we should be watching? What's in some? What's something that we should be seeing? Like when the league was out, did you watch that? I saw a couple episodes. But did you? Yeah, yeah, oh. yeah. No, I did. I did. I watched. I would watch it. I'd watch it. I I don't I don't appointment view TV ever. I never was like I gotta watch it. The workaholics. You ever watch that? Sure, I saw some of those too. Oh. Yeah. But I never I never watch things habitually. I don't ever do that. Uh. Now that we're in this time of like. I can consume all the episodes at one. Like I can sit and watch how to. I can watch them all in one night, uh-huh. and then I'm done. But that wasn't the way years ago. You used to, you know, it's like, oh, I saw this episode. I see that episode. Yeah, but as a kid, I was a fan. Like I would watch me too. Anything comedy wise, no matter what it was. But it was scheduled comedy. Like it was Tuesday that, night. It no, was... it was even just movies. Like I, oh, if, right. if, even if it was like a movie, right? That like, you know. I knew three people in. But are they making comedy movies anymore? No, even... Oh, you're not getting what I'm saying. Well, like what? You're saying you would watch it even if you knew one person and they had one line. It just takes me out of it. Because you know them now. It takes me out of it. Right. Yeah. I don't know what it is. It's like, it, they could be the best actor. It just kind of just makes me go, ah. Oh. Who do you think your friends with that's the best actor? What, who, what, what, which one of your friends is literally the best actor out of all your friends? That, oh, that's a good question. That even the public would go, yeah, that person is probably really good. That I know personally. Yeah, that you're actually friends with, not someone that you like. And they have to be a stand-up. No, just the best actor that you're friends with. <sighs> like someone I th- that I think that the best actor that I know is Stone Street. Eric. Yeah. I mean, he's a very talented actor. I think he's a good actor. Yeah, he's a good yeah, actor. He's a really good actor. And he's won Emmys. 
Yeah. So that's pretty good. Yeah. What else? Um, you think you'll ever win a trophy? No. Seriously? No. Do you not w- care? I just too scared. Of when of do being good? No, I just I just know myself on sets and I'm just confused. Right. Yeah, you know, I don't think they're confused. You think they know exactly? I don't know what's going on. They know exactly what they're doing. Like there's like there, oh, this is so embarrassing to say. Give it. <laughs> this is so embarrassing. <laughs> but <laughs> this is so embarrassing. I have to say it. So when I was I, when I just was in Hawaii, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. I don't read the script. Do you read the script? Yes. Do, re, what? You read the whole script? It's your job. I don't read it. You've never read the script? No. Do you, I don't know what's going on. So how do you know what scene you're doing? I, I always go, I tell whoever the P, uh, guy is, uh, right? The P, a PA? Yeah. Night before, just send me the sides. Right, they do. Yeah. They email them to you. Yeah, so I read the sides. But you don't read the full episode? No, no, no. So sometimes I don't know the context of why I'm saying certain things. <laughs> You know what I mean? That's a huge issue. Yeah. So yeah. like there was a line where I, I got so there was just an old lady there, right? Mm-hmm. And we're having this banter back and forth. Right. right. I don't know who this old lady is, <laughs> right? I know her name, real name is Jade. Woo. She's from New York. She's an old Asian actress. She's done a million things. Stop saying right? old. It's older. She's sixty seven. Older. Older. Yeah. And um so we hung out, you know what I mean? We smoked cigarettes together and we banter about, you know what I mean, life and pandemic or whatnot right? did you guys and squat while you smoked were you squat no, we don't we have chairs man don't be like that i just in my head you and a an, yeah. an, an little asian woman squatting and so smoking. um i can't believe i would never thought that so there was this line where i'm, I'm saying like you know if you were younger i would date you mm-hmm. right and time out would you no but in the line i say that <laughs> right but i thought i was being literal oh you're oh right right because i don't know the our relationship you don't know the context previous, the context of because it, you didn't right? read the fucking script yeah so i was like reading it like you know what i mean you know if you're younger i would date you <laughs> <laughs> like like i was being l- real yeah you're being literal literal and then cut cut and people talking right you could hear people talking <laughs> they come to me you go dude you're it's you're joking and you're like that's mean and i wouldn't joke about and i that. go Oh, right. But then it's like, then everyone realizes that you don't read the script. I don't read the script. Right. And there's like a little bit of embarrassment going on. Sure. Right. Where I go, ah, oh, sorry, I don't read the scripts. I say it out loud. But they don't care. I know, but still, I should read it. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But yes. So I'm doing this. I uh, want people to make, uh, make an announcement. Please. That Don't roll your eyes. I didn't. It's fucking rude. I didn't. But I got a big movie. Bob. Okay. What is it? I can't tell you what it is. Yet. Well, what then? Why even bring it up? Because they won't let me. But I, I got a big movie, and I'm the second lead in it. Wow. Okay. Can you say who else is in it? Um, no, nah, I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> Cover your mouth. <laughs> Uh, yeah, December twelfth. I'm going to be in Phoenix. There's some tickets left uh, for me. I'm doing a couple shows in Phoenix. One time only, desert Rick, show. Rick, Rick Bronson's room. No, I'm going to be uh, downtown. Are oh, you doing uh, stand up live? Jules, Jules room. Stand up live. Yeah, yeah. That's a great room. Three shows. Three shows. What a beautiful room. Phoenix. Yeah. December twelfth. Go to my website. Blue Blue Chew! Chew. Guys, remember the days when you were always ready to go? I do. Now you can increase your performance, get that extra confidence in bed. Listen up. BlueChew.com. That's blue like the color blue. Blue Chew brings you the first chewable with the same FDA-approved active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis. Bobby and I both use Blue Chew, and it's fun. Sometimes we'll use it, and we'll take photos of each other, or we'll Mm. FaceTime each other. It really does work, though. It's nice. I I take it, and uh, I get bing, bing. You get your bing, bing? You bing, bing? Yeah, my little pee-pee. Uh, your significant other will Gross. be satisfied. Blue Chew is prescribed online by licensed physicians, yeah. real people. You don't got to go to the doctor's office and wait in line at a pharmacy, and it ships 
right to your door in a very discreet package. Mm -hmm. No one will know what you're getting. They're made in the USA, and since Blue Chew prepares and ships direct, they're cheaper than a pharmacy. No awkwardness, and you don't have to leave the house. That's right. You can stay at home and get the pills that you need. We got a special deal for our listeners. If you want to get the engines running this holiday and get some extra blood down to the basement, go to bluechew.com and get your first shipment for free when you use our special promo code Bad Friends. Just pay five bucks <laughs> for shipping. Again, that's blue, B L U E, chew.com, promo code Bad Friends. To try it out for free. It's the better, cheaper choice. We thank them for sponsoring the podcast. Remember, when you support our sponsors, you help make this pod possible. Please be sure to use the promo code Bad Friends at bluechew.com. Liquid, Liquid IV. IV. Oh my God. Uh, cooler weather makes it easier to miss signs of dehydration, like overheating or perspiration, which means it's even more important to keep your body properly hydrated. That's right. With one stick of liquid IV, 16 ounces of water, you're going to get two to three times the amount of hydration as plain water. Uh, Bob and I use this, and I love this stuff. You like the sleep stuff. Um, I like the, uh, it's got zinc and uh, vitamin C boost, which yeah. I love the immune, the immune, immune booster. Uh, but you're getting tons of hydration, so you don't have to drink a thousand cups of water a day. It really tastes good, and it's like convenient. I don't know. I like the flavors too: guava, watermelon, and apple pie. Apple, apple pie is my is absolutely my favorite. You know what it tastes like? Remember the old apple pies from McDonald's? Yeah, yeah. It tastes just like that in liquid form. Um, it tastes good. I use it first thing in the morning because I like to use it for throughout the day. Bobo uses it to go to bed. Yeah. Uh, one serving is the same hydration as two to three bottles alone, which is super effective. They use this thing called cellular transport technology (CTT). Uh, it gets inside of your blood. Glucose, sodium, potassium delivers water nutrients to the bloodstream. It is good. It tastes good. It makes you feel good. Uh, in response to COVID, by the way, they're donating a ton of this stuff to it hospitals. Really the world. And uh, the company has donated over 6.7 6. million servings globally. It's pretty incredible to veterans, to food banks, first responders. So props to Liquid IV for doing cool stuff during uh, tough times. Uh, it's available nationwide at Walmart and in the beverage section, or you can get 25% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use our code. Bad Friends. Bad Friends. That's 25% off anything you order. Anything when you order using the promo code Bad Friends at liquidiv.com. Get better hydration today. Liquidiv.com, promo code Bad Friends. I've never read any script. Right, and I've done a thousand things, <laughs> right? But I'm starting to do it. Mm hmm. Yeah. And how was the script? Really good. Really funny. Did you say yes before you got the offer? Or, like, did you say yes before you read it? No, because I had to read it first before I had the meeting because I had to still vie for the job. Right. Because yeah. you were still nervous you might not land. No, I had to. They wanted, they didn't offer it to me. I had to have a Zoom meeting, right? to talk about the script. They just wanted to prove that you could read the script. They were <laughs> <laughs> right. So like when I was in the Zoom call, yeah. I had to talk about it. Right. And, and go, yeah, I, I think my character is very interesting because he changes and shifts through, you know what I mean? And you have to talk about, right? Oh, you have to it's, bullshit. You bullshit your way through it. And I had to immerse myself in the material. I know how to do it. When I read a script, I understand it. I understand what characters do and whatnot. I just so lazy. Yeah. No, right. I just don't do it. You know what you could do next time mm -hmm. is hire somebody to read it for you. <laughs> I, I found that reading it, right, and then also convincing them that I was the right guy for the job was it made me less nervous about even doing it. Really, when you read when when you read scripts, do you envision it, or you're just kind of getting through? This it? This time I did. I was envisioning, and also I just here's the one thing that I've never done before. Hmm. I've never done before. Where I read it, I was like, I can't wait to do this. But so I, I read that. But um, and it's you know I, I'll be honest with you, everybody listening is that you know I'm getting you know and Andrew too. I think feel like you too hmm. that we're getting a lot of you know love from bad friends. Bad friends is my favorite. No, I'm being real. I think uh, that so am I. I like doing this more than I like doing anything else. I'm just saying though that are like, you listening? Kind of. Yeah, that I feel like. What we're doing, George, you know, Alonzo. Alonzo. Alonzo, Rudy, uh, I think what we're doing here is um, a good thing. I think, it's, I think it's a wonderful thing. Don't be like that. I'm beyond genuine right <laughs> yeah. now. This is my favorite thing. Do you think I'm kidding when I say this? I like doing this more than I like doing stand-up, more than I like doing Dave. It's just I get to come here and be free with my friend. It's like my favorite thing on earth. I don't dislike any – I don't – not to disrespect the other things, this is the most fun I get to have. Yeah. And and I, unlike you, I do like to read the scripts, and I don't get offered anything. So maybe I should go to not reading them because you... you so many things, dude. You beat me out of a roll. I already told you that. It's fine. But that being said, um, on this transitional note, Rudy, as we know, likes bad scripts. She likes terrible stuff mm -hmm. that have no depth, no character development. Sure. 
And so, in in lieu of this, Rudy, Rudy, this is her request. She wants us to read a scene from Hunter Hunter, her favorite show, and we'll let the fans decide if this is quality material or not. Um, um, which Who am I gonna play? Which one am I? Uh, Andres, George Kalua. I'm Kalua. I'm Kalula. I'm Ikalgo. It, yes. Yeah. Which one? You're Ikalgo. Ikal- well, go ahead and tell us how to say the name. Yeah, you're Ikalgo. the one that you're the, the expert. Um, Kilua. Kalua and Ikalgo. Ikalgo. What do I get? I don't. This is a. This is my wig that they got for me. Oh. Do you want to wear this? No, you can wear it. It's not going to fit on your it. head. Well, because I need to look Asian. You guys do look Asian. I'm the only one in here that doesn't look Asian, so I need to look like an Asian. Okay. Do I look Asian? No, no, no. <laughs> that didn't work. I don't look Asian. No, you look better. I look gooder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I look more good. Okay. I'm uh, Kalua, and and who's Rudy? Nothing. Rudy's not in this. No. I'm just gonna read. Oh, you're gonna read the. Na- oh, you're gonna be the narrator. Yes. Yeah, because we can't hear Fancy B. He's yeah, too yeah, tough yeah, to yeah. make out. Ready? Okay, here we go. This is Hunt. A uh, scene from Hunter Hunter, Rudy's favorite show. Look at her smile. Look at how fat. See, we try to make her happy too. Okay, ready? Yeah. Go ahead, Rude. Previously on Hunter Hunter. These suction cups save me. Anyway. Aren't you an octopus? Oh, don't call me. <laughs> don't call me an octopus. <laughs> <laughs> Intro sequence. Hunter, hunter. Go ahead. Strange bees and monsters, vast riches, hidden treasures, evil hunts, uncharted frontiers. The mysterious unknown, the people who are captivated by the magic in those worlds are called hunters. <laughs> A mob of assassins attacks Kilwa after he and Gon split up to stop the selection. One of them is Ikalgo, an octopus chimera ant. Aren't you an octopus? Don't call me octopus! <laughs> <laughs> he flies away. See ya! <laughs> I need to find a new horse. Oh, I can't charge up my next shot. I'll let the ortho siblings take it from me here. But out of nowhere, Kilo jumps on him, grabs his gun, and attacks and attacks himself to a rock using the Khmer arms. Yo, we meet again. So we do. Long time no see, you know? Can I ask you something? Sure, go ahead. Why didn't you dive underwater <laughs> to escape? <laughs> you should have an advantage in the water. <laughs> Don't tell me you can't swim. Uh, well... It's the blood, right? <laughs> when they smell blood, your bodies in the water go berserk and ask the injured, no matter who it is. With those wounds, if you went in there, you'd be torn to shreds. <laughs> Am I wrong? Uh, well, I suppose that one way too. <laughs> Andreas, you're the dragonfly. Or dragonfly. Hey, Cargo. Did you finish off the kid? No, but she didn't change his voice. Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> voice Try to change your voice. Or anything. Cut, do it again. Cut, lead him into it with your oh well yeah. line. Oh well, I suppose that's one way too. Ikalgo, did you finish off the kid? Same voice. You didn't even, didn't even like, <laughs> didn't make like a small attempt to change a, the voice. Not even a shift or anything. Uh, we're going to do it one more one time. One more time, bro. <laughs> It's not even hard, It's Andres. not hard at all. all right. Oh, well, I suppose that one way too. Oh, uh, hey, Kalgo, did you finish off the kid? <laughs> oh my he's God! Fi- fired. You're fired, Dra- dude. No, wait, let's give George a shot. George, go ahead. Right. Try try to be the dragonfly. Oh, uh, well, I suppose that one way too. <laughs> oh, hey, Kalgo, did you finish off the kid? <laughs> Pretty, Pretty good. good. You're, 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 you're hired. hired. No. We were still fighting. Who are you talking to? Uh, he screwed up. <laughs> wait, wait. Oh, did we change roles there? Yep. Yep. Let me do it again. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> no, we're still fighting. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you talking to? I screw up. <laughs> right. You can. <laughs> you all can communicate via telepathy. Talking to your boss. It's that guy who was flying over me, right? Wait. Now look here. Oh, so. <laughs> hey, Hikalgo! <laughs> Answer me! He's, like, he's, he's Spanish. Hispanic. He's Hispanic. Now. It's so funny. He sounds more <laughs> Hispanic than, than Andres, Andres does. Yeah. <laughs> you could say that. What I might be doing, yes, we're still fighting. 
A dragonfly creature flies in the forest. I think uh, Jules, not Jules, you you're the creature. the creature, but you should do a different accent. Okay, ready? A dragonfly creature enters the forest. Oh, sorry to interrupt you. Let me know if you learn anything. If he sees a dozen of dragonfly flying around inside a cave, the enemy would go suspicious. I won't be able to send my satellite. Dragonfly inside. Very good, Jules. Back in the cave. Let's make a deal then. If you tell me about his power, I'll spare your life. You have 10 seconds to answer. Kilo throw the chimera arms in the water. The sea creatures go crazy, devouring it. Eight seconds left. Ikalgo is puzzled. Six seconds. Ikalgo's mind wanders, dreaming. I want to get the bonus queen. I wouldn't give anything to have been a truth operator. <laughs> Do similar. If so, you're mistaken. Octopi are ugly. Squids are squidorific. I think they look divine. Two seconds. I won't betray a body. Ikago cut his arm off and falls in slow motion. Yes, I could see that in your eyes. I can only hope that in my next life, I'll be born a squid. With quick moves, Kilowak catches Ikago, res rescuing from a certain death. What? What? Why? Because you're a cool guy. In different <laughs> circumstances, we could have been friends. Oh, wow. Good. I kind of want to watch the show now. Are we, yeah. are we close? Um, your voices are very different because Kilowa is a 11 year old. Oh. Oh. What's what's Kilgalgo? Kilgalgo is an octopus. He has like a squeaky voice. Why did he keep? Why does he keep saying "Don't call me an octopus" when he is one? Because he doesn't want to be an octopus. Because what does he want to be? A squid. Because all of his friends bully him. Oh, this is deep. Oh, we did. I wish I would, that's the context that yeah. we should have had. Yeah, well, yeah. if you read scripts, you'd know yeah, context. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Lesson is ver is learned here. That's yeah. pretty impressive, though. I I got to be honest with you. At first, I thought that was going to be like a uh, fooey, and I really did like it. Like at first, I was like, "This is stupid," but it's really good, huh? Did you watch that show Undoing on HBO? No. Okay. What is it? What is it? Have you? Is that what it's called? Yes. The Undoing. Have you, did you finish it? I did. Because I'm on. Ep I'm on a, it's not a comedy, right? It's not. No, no, no. Um, I'm, <laughs> I'm on episode. Andre's like, it's a murder mystery. Yeah, I finished episode four. Yeah. And it's just so depressing that it's like, I, I, I find it hard to continue. Is it worth it? Uh, I think so. It just, now, listen, like, I'm at a point, uh, maybe I'll talk to you after the show about it, but, you know, it's like, it's just so fucking depressing. It's like. The undoing? Yeah, I, I listen. Nicole Kidman. By the way, we can't give spoilers away anymore because people online are really mad that whenever we talk about a show, we just give away the show. <laughs> I think we've done that like six times. Okay. Pe people are like, why are you guys spoiling the show? They're not going to watch it. They are. They're not. All right, give it away. No, I, I haven't seen, I haven't, I don't know because I don't want to, I don't want him to spoil it for me. That's why I want to talk to him afterwards. All right, good. Talk to him afterwards. Don't, don't ruin it. Yeah. Don't ruin the, 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 the depth of the undoing. Rudy, um, you have a surprise for us, I heard. George told me you've got something. Yeah. Oh. Take a chance on me, sing it. No. <laughs> Do it now. No. No. She was singing Take a Chance on Me by Abba in the take car. Take a chance on me. Sing take it. a chance on me. I only know the chorus. Take a chance, 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 take a chance on me. Take a chance on me. That's it. You want to talk about our new puppy? Oh, yeah. But wait a minute. Don't you have... Yeah, I want to hear it. But don't you have a report for us? Oh, I have something to promote. Yeah, what is it? Um, I'm doing a senior project that focuses more on, like, giving back to the community, specifically for the dogs in the Philippines. This is great. Oh. And huh? then um, there are about 12 million stray dogs in the Philippines, and most of them are Ascals. Ascals are our indigenous street dogs, and they're often overlooked abuse and not taken care of because they aren't purebreds mm. so um i'm doing i'm gonna be selling shirts beanies and stickers and to raise money and everything that i will profit will be given to um, five main shelters in cebu and maybe manila especially at a time like this where a typhoon just hit the philippines awful so a lot of dogs have died a lot uh, are currently starving so i hope you um, help me in this and sell. So, um, bye. 
my things. Yes. What are you selling? Shirts. Shirts. Beanies. Beanies. You, are they are they just your shirts that say your face? I mean, I don't. No. Um. The the um designs will be dogs. Um. And you're and you're designing them. Yeah, I'm gonna be. Oh. Isn't that awesome? That's awesome. Yeah. Twelve thousand stray dogs. Twelve million. Yeah. What? what? All... No. Twelve million. No, Rudy. No way. Yeah. yeah Twelve million. Twelve. You go there. That's all you million see. stray dogs. Yeah, yeah. It's just dogs. Yeah, yeah. She did say she was like a typhoon hit, and I was like, God, all those people. She's like, but the dogs were dead. Yeah, yeah. The people of uh, fine. <laughs> she yeah. didn't care about the people. No, but at you all. do see a lot of them, and they're like, they're like, you know, they look like uh, pirate dogs. I care, I care. They're I just like, like walking with one eye missing, missing, like a wooden yeah. paw. You know what I mean? Just like walking <laughs> down the street, and it's just like the, the dog is smoking. Yeah, yeah. It's really sad. Sad. Man. Yeah. So all the all, so Rudy, when's that stuff going to be up? We have to tell the the peeps when it's going to be up. It's still gonna be next year. Next year, so yeah. at the beginning of next year, you guys got to watch out to support the Ru- the the Ru Jude because she um she deserves it. She wants to help out other people, and all the profits are gonna go uh to a foundation. Is that yeah. what it is? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Were you there when we went to the Philippines? We're in Cebu, and we fed the, the the kid those homeless. Are they homeless kids? They live in squatter areas. Squatter areas. areas. Yeah. So they're so like, we, like we 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 went and got like um. Little lunch boxes, mm-hmm. thousands of them. Yeah. In a truck. Okay. Right. And we go to this place, right? And it's like roosters and just garbage and in this landfill, mm. right? And then they have like little, like, it could be huts or caves. What are they? Hut caves. Hut caves. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And you, you, know, you have a table, you set it up, and they all come running out. And some of them are naked. They, have no, they are. I'm sorry. I'm, Why are you laughing? Well, because when That's you, rude. I think about you naked when yeah, you say yeah. na- I'm naked na- too. I know. Yeah, I know. And I'm running with them. <laughs> You're like, we brought <laughs> you, we, we brought yeah, you lunch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's like, um, and, and goats as well, right? There's goats, right, tied to like, like on sticks, yeah. on the ground, right? And they're just like, is it food? No, I don't know what they are. Are they pets? Food. It's oh, from it it's for milk yeah. and for yeah, right yeah. Yeah. yeah goats milk and but um it's just uh, and then when you're when you're you know and you you're feeding them and mm-hmm. um it's and when you when you're in doing that you just kind of realize you know we have to do more of it you I completely agree I, yeah, I it's, we do uh, it's um every year we adopt either a family or we adopt teenagers that are homeless here in Los Angeles. And I got to tell you, you told me this yesterday. I got to tell you, it on the phone, it moves me. And here's why. And I'm being very genuine when I say this. Yeah. Okay. I had two moments of a, of like movement in my life. That comedy aside, when I, you get the email of the request list from these people and what they want from for Christmas, mm-hmm. and it would it would make you feel disgusting about yourself because it's like socks, paper towels, a bath towel, took up like a new towel to have, take a shower. Mm-hmm. And you get these lists, and you're like, this is all this kid wants? They don't ask for toys. They don't ask for, like, hey, I want the new PS5. It's like, hey, I'd I'd love socks. I don't even have socks. Or I don't even have a fucking clean bath towel. So we didn't get him any of that shit. We got him a PS5. But (laughs) no, but but it does make you feel like, oh, it just it puts per things in perspective. It puts a lot of things in check. And subsequently, of course, yesterday I was having a long day. We're shooting 15-hour days on Davey. It's insane. I shot till 3 a.m. this oh morning. God. Oh, my God. And one of the girls in one of the scenes was sitting there next to me, and I was kind of out of it, not paying attention to... Because I'm not up. I'm in my chair. Yeah. And I'm kind of like dozing out of it. And she was saying, oh, I love the show. And I said, oh, thanks. That's very cool. And she's like, I'm just so elated to be here. And I said, yeah. She was like a guest star for the day. I said, "Yeah, that's it's awesome. I'm I'm glad that you're here. You're you're doing great." Yeah. And then it's kind of quiet, and she goes, "Is this not exciting for you?" And I said, "No, no, no. I just it's it, it's one in the morning. I'm t- tired, and we got here, you know." And she's like, "No, I know, I know. Yeah, no, I was here." And she was peppy, and and she goes, "Just you, just just know you're living someone's dream." That's and, what she said to you. Yeah, and then they. And hey, it, you know what I was that that's crossing the fucking line. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. She she meant because she's living out her dream. And she's like, you're living someone's dream. This is, this is, she didn't mean it as like a F you to me. So she walked away and did her scene and it made me, it made me like sit in it for a minute. I was like, that is right. This is somebody's dream. Oh, sorry. It was, it, it, it's somebody's dream. <laughs> I apologize. And then I walked up to, I, I walked up to the second AD and I said, what's that girl's name? 
Yeah. And he said her name, and I said, okay, good. And he said, why? What's up? And I said, I, you know, I, I wanna I wanna remember her name, and I wanna say her name today. What's her name? <laughs> he forgot. I forgot. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot. And genuinely, I had her fired. Because I said, don't you fucking talk to a principal actor that way, <laughs> yeah. you guest star. I know. I struck her across the face, and yeah. I said, get me a T. Yeah. Uh, no, she was very sweet, and genuinely, um, I didn't ask for her name. But I did. it did make me think, oh, yeah, that is his neat. That is his someone's, someone's dream. So it put things into perspective. It's the holidays, you know? Yeah, it's tough for you to absorb that kind of stuff. It's, just, it's difficult. Yeah, no. Oh, hey, uh, hello, Bob. Hi. No, see, you didn't absorb that time. No, I don't want to. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, I didn't want to absorb that. Right, now you're a block. Yeah. Wall, there's a wall. There's a big wall up. You have to let it those is, things... Yeah, you know, it, it, it is someone's dream. It is, of course it is. Right? It's a, it's a lot of people's dream. And it, Yeah, and it's like, you like know... Like, you got to go to Hawaii, shoot Magnum P.I. Ooh. That's incredible. It is incredible, but I, it's what, I just, just can I just say this? They though? flew you. I'm taking my jacket Take off. it off, I'm Papa. Off. I'm taking my jacket off. Is this the closer? No. <laughs> that's not the closer. No, it's not the closer. It is someone's dream, and you have to remember that. Uh, that's fine, and I believe that. Okay. But. There's no but. You, there's a but. You know, it's. There, you, there it is. That's the but. No, it's not. Okay. I didn't say but. I said it for you. But. But I don't want that in it. Okay, I won't. Uh, all right. But. 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 <laughs> <laughs> really, yeah, I do need to say it. But yeah, you have to say but. Um. It's not as if, and and my journey is not your journey. Correct. Right? We have two different journeys. But. There it is. I know. <laughs> it, 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 when, I, when, I, when I'm on a set and I see, like, a girl that, like, her parents are actors and actresses, right? Mm -hmm. And they're 17. Right. Right? And they, th this is the first thing I d auditioned for and I got it, right? Mm -hmm. Right? Maybe for that person. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. it's somebody else's dream they should be fucking grateful but for me it's like you know I came here you know in a, from a different on a boat from Korea it, it felt like that right you know it felt like I'm homeless I was in LA living with I'm not trying to do a boohoo story but like with 12 guys in a one bedroom apartment in Silver Lake for years so this was your dream no and I'm just saying though that like and then like I crawled Mm -hmm. 10,000 auditions mm -hmm. got getting nothing. Right. Right? Yeah. And then finally, like, getting to a place where, because of podcasting, I feel like. Talent, ability. You know, whatever. You know yeah, what I mean? Sure. And so when I'm on the set, I don't really go. I, when people go, well, this is great, a dream. It's like, bitch, I fucking worked my way here. Right. Should I have said that to her? No, but that's how I feel about it. Right. Right? It's like, I don't, you know, it's like. Yeah, you're fucking, you have a dream, but it's like, I fucking crawled my way into the situation. Right. You earned it. I worked at it! And you worked at it by not reading one script. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> then, I feel like I'm being ungrateful, but there is a feeling of, like, dude, I fucking worked to get here. These two things can exist. Are you sure? A hundred percent. I feel gross saying it. That's good. But, you know what I mean? Like that Chris Rock story. I had to go through that. Right. You know, I had to live through just, you know what I mean, that. You I had to live through like, you carrying know Carrying I mean? your clothes. Yeah, not being able to eat for weeks. Yeah. Right? Yes. When I did that scene in Hawaii with that lady, Jade Wu, right? The lady that you didn't, yeah, correct. Okay. And we hung out, right? And there's another lady on the show named Amy Hill. Okay. Right? Who she played um, Margaret Cho's grandmother when she had her show American Girl back in the day. Right. Okay. So I'm friends with Amy, right? And I know, right, the, the especially Asian women from these are actresses from the 70s, 80s and 90s, right? Who had to live through being concubines, right? <laughs> having one line, right? Right? And just having these terrible roles. Sure. That they had to fucking audition for. You know, working at a liquor store and they have broken English. And they had to and do And we're the... so much more than that, right? You break, you buy every Yeah, right, scene. right. So yeah. now, right, now they're getting shit. Sure. Right? They're, I don't look at somebody like Jade Wu or fucking Amy Hill and go, wow, you're lucky to be here. You worked your ass off. You went through some fucking 
difficult decades where Hollywood treated like shit. So when they're getting these like regular lines with no accents and they're probably get they get to play real people in a real show, mm-hmm. right? I don't, I just I applaud them and I go, you know, you fucking deserve to be here. Totally. Right? Yeah. And you worked your ass off. But and you're not lucky. They're living someone's dream. That's all. She's just saying you're living someone's dream. How wonderful. You know, there's there's certain things about you, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying, yes. right? Yeah. And you like to, because I have a sore throat right now because I'm being argumentative. Yes. And you like to throw fucking hot coals in it. Mm-hmm. Why do you think I do that? You you like to play devil's advocate. Why do you think? And why do you think? get me riled up so I can have a stroke so you can kill me. Well, it makes for a good show. <laughs> if you stroked out on this show, one of our most successful episodes. <laughs> I know. Are you kidding me? The, th- the would, thumbnail, would, would you be... The thumbnail, would you be... <laughs> you stroking out and me going... It would be wonderful. By the way, make that the thumbnail. Me going like this yeah. and Bobby... Yeah, there it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, You're correct. You worked very hard. You deserve what you got. What I'm saying is perspective-wise, she didn't mean it any negative way. She just meant you're living someone's dream. How wonderful. Yeah, but the a gall, right... Just listen now. You think she's you're got... all sitting there on set, yeah. right? Yeah. You know what I mean? And you memorize your lines, right? right. And you're and you're you're you're, you're getting re- focused on the scene, uh, right? Well, yeah. And some girl going, ah, "We're just really lucky to be here. You're living someone's dream." I, I just kind of want to go, yeah, Tick! and just poke her fucking <laughs> flick her eye. I want to grab her cheeks and go, "Oh yeah, look like," <laughs> right? That's what, you, what I want to do. What do you think, Rudy? But then what you have to... Yeah, go ahead. I want to hear her because she's got good perspective. She's young. Okay, she's smarter ahead. than yeah, us. Yeah. Um, I understand, Cecil Bobby, that you work hard for it, but... You do. The intention of the girl wasn't bad. You just She just said that you're living someone else's dream. Let her finish. There are people there who doesn't... Who doesn't... Who wasn't born to be, like, for, like fortunate. And then... Yeah, they're just like they're they have they dream of something better and then I I don't know the girl's intention wasn't bad. Then why yeah, are you the, inten- the intention's not bad. Don't yell. The intention's not bad. <laughs> okay. She comes from a good place, right? Yeah. It's just it's one in the morning. Yeah, it's one in one thirty. Okay. You're tired. I'm very tired. Right? Yeah. She doesn't know you that well. Not at all. You don't know your history or anything, right? Mm-hmm, yeah. And just to have say this bubbly thing like, you know, you're living someone's dream. I just out of nowhere. You know what I mean? I, what I would have done is I would have went, "Oh, nice, thank you." That's right. That's the response. No, but then you should see. She's not going to see the other side of it. What is it? Where I go, thank you. <laughs> like she won't see this part of the face, right? right? But that's what I would have done, right? <laughs> right. It's that turn of like absorb and like what the fuck? Yeah. How di- like. How dare you? Oh, yeah, you're bummed. Right? Mm-hmm. But then t- you come back around uh-huh. like this. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's try, let's try the exercise right now. Yeah. You're on set. Mm. All right? And Rudy is the girl. Yeah. Rudy, say it, and let's see how Bobby reacts. Given the circumstances... You want you, me to be, what, what do you want me to do here? I want you to understand what she was just saying to you and what I was trying to say to you as well. Okay, go ahead. And take that into consideration with your response. I, I will. Okay. Hi. Hi. Well, you said hi... <laughs> First of all, this is our fourth scene together. Like, I just want to let no, you know. No, I just, I, I, as an actress, I just want, I know you, your name is Sally, right? So Sally, I want to say we sit, You said hi to me, you know, nine hours ago She's, on our first scene. Is this how you're gonna really gonna? React yeah, yeah, to yeah. So don't say hi again. It's weird. Sally, say hi if you want to say hi. Yeah. I want to say hi. Hi again. Hi again, Sally. <laughs> Here we are on set doing our fourth scene. Hi. Okay, act like, come on, here we go. Okay, uh, uh, okay, let's start from the top. Yeah, please. And let me be real, how I normally would do, do it. Do it for real. All right, so I'm sitting there, I have my script in my hand. Or my no, you, no my you, have your, you have your phone in your hand. <laughs> I have my sides. You have your phone in your hand. Now, I always have my sides crumble up, I'm looking at it. Okay. Okay, that's true. Okay. And I have to highlight certain things. Okay. All right, so I'm you know, highlighting. Go ahead. <laughs> Whenever you're ready. Hi, Bobby. <laughs> no, no. Let me, let me, uh, just, just, just do it again. Do it again. Say the same thing. I want to do something. I want to do something. No, right. why? Yeah, that was right, great. Right, right. Hi, Bobby. Hey, Sally. It must have been nice, huh? 
It's a bit of been nice. It must have been nice. <laughs> huh? It's a bit of been nice too. Yes. <laughs> to it's be, nice. It's nice. To be, What is nice? To be living someone else's dream. Yes. <laughs> it sure is. Aren't you grateful? I'm so grateful that I am living off someone else's dream. Thank you for sharing that, Sally. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, bye. Bye. And I'm just and then, and then well, I'll be pretending to read my script or my lines. Right, right? you're not reading. But the whole time, yeah, you know, I'm thinking about you know. I might even Google her <laughs> to find out Got her IMDb, like if she's worked before. Right. Okay, Sally McMullen. Okay, <laughs> Sally McMullen. Yeah, let's see what she's done. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is her first thing. That's what's where it's coming. From. And now knowing that, yeah. Now she comes back, and uh, she's now going to ask you, "Hey, do you know where Crafty is?" Hey, do you know where Crafty is? Mm, yeah, it's right there where all the fucking peanuts <laughs> and the fucking M and M's are. See, right there, where the table right next to me. So, you know don't have the to be is? mean. I'm not being mean. You asked me where it was, and I'm just telling you it's right there. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Enjoy. Thank you. Bye. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> fucking newcomer. Relax. Your scene. Right. Your scene's up in a minute. All right. So, yeah. Sally. Yeah. Do you have to go to the bathroom? Yeah. You should ask where the bathroom is. Um, Bobby? Sally. <laughs> Good to see you again, Sally. Hello, Sally. Do you know where the bathroom is? Oh, Sally. I really need to pee. I, I know you do. And um, I just wanted to let you know real quick, it's really great to work with you, right? But um, I am a principal on the show. I'm not a PA. See, John? Hey, Ask I'm, him. Hey, I'm John. Yeah, John. Ask him. But it's my first time here. All right, here fine. And... Well, see, where that, see that door right there? It says woman and has a symbol of a woman with a dress on it, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's the bathroom. Oh, I didn't see. Sorry. It's right right by Crafty. She, she didn't right see by Crafty. She didn't see. Yeah, 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 right by Crafty, right? Okay. Ask, ask him to go to the bathroom with you. Can you go to the bathroom with me? No. No. In, in case I get um, lost. <laughs> <He> lost. <laughs> Sally, I, I, I'm being honest with you right now. <laughs> I'll, I'll be honest. Are you a blind uh, special needs actor? I mean, what is going on here? Um, I don't have my contacts on. Oh, oh shit! All right, fine. My bad. All right, let's go. <laughs> Thank you. It's right here. <laughs> That's how quick. By the way, ask if he'll wait for you. Yeah. Can you wait for me? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I get really scared yeah, yeah. when I pee. Okay, uh, you get sc- okay. <laughs> and it takes I'll wait, long. I'll wait right here, but you know, um, <laughs> we're about to shoot our scenes. So can you just, just take your time, but hurry up? It takes long. Uh, okay. <laughs> Now you've fallen into oh, I, now, no, no, this is now. I'm gonna tell you what's gonna happen now. <laughs> no, right? no, hold on, let her. Okay. Something happened. Wait, Bobby, I fell on the toilet. <gasps> she fell. You have to help me. You have to help. You have to get in there and help, Bob. You you can't watch me though. Bob, no. you can't watch me <laughs> though. <laughs> I can't you watch you fall your, in the fucking you have, you have toilet. To close your you fucking, eyes. Fuck you! All hey, right, hey. I'm opening my eyes. No, fuck you! Be nice. She's disabled. John, John, I fuck you, PA. All right. <laughs> okay. First of all, I want to say this. Okay. Yeah. Number one, who the fuck is, is this? Am I being pranked? Yeah. Or, oh, yeah. Yeah. This is. Okay. A, yeah, yeah. You got pranked. <laughs> Sorry. So. Sorry, man. This is actually the director for the next four episodes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And the way you treated her, we're gonna. That's yeah. gonna get reported. So you think that what I just did there, right, is mean? Okay, I'll show you. Okay, tell tell me how it's done. All right, go ahead. You now you're doing with Andrew. Hi, Andrew. Hey, what's up? <laughs> Already? <laughs> Fuck you, all right? This is how I would do it. Yeah, I know, but it's not. That's how it happened. I know, I know. But, Ready? This is uh, how it happened. Uh, Ready? Okay. Hi, Andrew. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Let me get through it. I love it. <laughs> Go ahead. I love it. Isn't so it nice? Sincere. What's that? Isn't it nice to be living someone else's dream? <laughs> Yeah. Aren't you grateful? I am. I actually am, Sally. I'm also grateful. Where are you from? <laughs> Texas. Oh, nice. What part of Texas? Somewhere there. What, si- what city? <laughs> we we'll talk about that. What later. city in Texas? Dallas. Oh, I love Dallas. I also love it. Where okay. do you live? <laughs> I live here. I live uh, in Los Angeles. You mean where I'm from? Yeah. Where I'm from you? Chicago. Oh. Okay. You know, there's something about Dallas. I don't know if you've ever known, <laughs> but if you go if you go down 386, if you're on that highway on the right hand side, there's one of my favorite little stores there. Have you ever been to uh, Bunham's Web? No. I no, haven't. you haven't. You have to go. You have to go. Give me your phone number. I'll text you. 
I'll text you the address for Bunham's Web. Okay. What's your number? 590. 590? Yeah. 590D. <laughs> five, All right. Five, so it's 59 in the letter D? Zero. 590. 590? 1878. 1878. All right. I'm going to call you right now to make sure that's your number. That's not. Oh, you got it? Yeah, I got it. Okay, great. Show me that you got it. Cool. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Scene. A great exchange. She <laughs> left. Right. She left. Yeah. All I had to do was was talk about something that she wasn't interested in. Okay. And she left. This is what you do, though. Let's do it for real. I'll tell you. I'll, I'm gonna, let's, let do, just, let's do let it for real. Let's it do it for real. real. You want to see it for real? You would not do that. Number one, right? I know, I know. Uh, let's do it for when real. you asked her, right, what part of Texas, and if she didn't know, you, Andrew Santino, would have known she was lying. She was a liar. Or there's something weird about how she doesn't know what city she lives in. It did, it did it, piss me yeah, off. Yeah, so you would have confronted that. Uh, okay, let's go. Let's, right? This so is let's, for real. Yeah, I'll do it for real. real. Here we go. Give her a different state, right? Get, throw them a different state. Okay. She can do it. She knows all, all the right? states. Go okay. ahead. She had to learn the capitals to become a go citizen. Ahead. Hi. Hi, Andrew. Hey, Sally. <laughs> Isn't it nice to be living someone else's dream? Aren't you grateful? I am. Uh, yeah, I am. I am actually. That's a very. You are, yes, I am, Sally. <laughs> it's my first time here, so I'm also grateful. Is this your first show? You've yeah. ever. Oh my God. Yeah. How, this is wonderful, huh? Mm -hmm. Well, I gotta tell you, you're doing a good job. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs> yeah. That's what. That's what happens. Yeah. Let me try it. See. <laughs> let me let's try it. Let's let try it. Yeah. Let me try it. Wait. Okay, give me the. Give me the. <laughs> Hi, Bobby. Hi. Sally? Isn't it nice that you're living someone else's dream? What? Isn't it nice to be living someone else's dream? Yeah. Aren't you grateful? I am. Nice. It's nice to live someone else's dream. Thank you. You know, really, you know, it's, it's, it's funny. Um, Here it goes. It's funny, Sally. You know, a lot of times in this rigorous role <laughs> in this business, you know, <laughs> It's rigmarole. Oh, yeah, you, you become self-centered, and you, you, it's all about me, 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 me. And uh, you know, it's mm. really nice every once in a while to just live in the moment, take a deep breath, and to realize that we are so fucking grateful to be here. That's right. That we're working. You know, yeah. and what an amazing fucking job we have. Is that not right, Sally? It Where is. Where are you right. from, Sally? I'm from Wyoming. Wyoming. What city in Wyoming? Why you know, you don't know any city in Wyoming? <laughs> <laughs> Like why like, you pick this state with I, no I, city I, I, that yeah, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> then don't ask where yeah, I'm give from. Me, no, give me a different state, all right? Wait, but how so you know state? cities yeah. in states? Yeah, 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 yeah. So what state are you from, Sally? I'm from California. Well, there we go. What part of the California? San Francisco. Perfect. Perfect. San Francisco, cool. Um, you know, Bobby used to play Cobbs in San yeah, Francisco. To, yeah, you ever go to Cobbs? No. Oh, uh, what what comedy clubs do you go to in San Francisco? Um. Uh, <laughs> this bitch isn't from San Francisco. You're, from San Francisco. You're, a liar. You're a liar. Let's expose her. Where are you really from? I'm from the Philippines. What are you doing what here on this set? Yeah. What are you doing on this show? I'm just an intern. You're just well, you're an intern? intern? You're talk what? What? We thought you're, why do you have sides and why are you in, in wardrobe? Yeah. Someone told me to do it. Who? Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> are we all high? <laughs> This oh, episode, this episode is specifically for people that smoke pot. <laughs> Let's say this. Uh, I will say something. I'm grateful um, that you're back and you're healthy and you're safe. Mm. I'm happy to see you. I'm happy Good to see, see both of those guys. Um, and I'm excited. I'm excited for the for the holidays to come. I put up my Christmas lights and my house looks oh, sparkly. Oh, it's nice. Jingle, jingle, jingle Did you put jingle. up your lights on your house? Nothing. Are you gonna pay someone to do no, it? No, no, nothing. Pay someone to do it. I'm not gonna do it. Will you pay me and I'll do it? Yeah, we'll, we'll do that next episode when we talk about Christmas, but I want to talk about it right now. Will you pay me to put up your lights? No, I'm not putting up fucking lights. Because you're Jewish? No, it's not Jewish. It's like, it's pointless. Speaking of which, um, Rudy's comment about Jewish, about w who <laughs> celebrates Thanksgiving <laughs> the next day, and it was Canadians, and she guessed Jewish, and boy, is the Jewish community pissed. Huh? So mad. So mad. Yeah, They are pissed. 
I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> I'm kidding, Rudy. They're, I'm joking. People she love you. She did get somebody to attack her on Instagram. What do you mean? She got her first like. Hater? Yeah. If you know why? Why? Because she's here living someone's dream. Oh, my God. <laughs> Thank you for being, being a, a bad, bad friend. friend.